Welcome back. It's art time class. Yay! Today, we're going to be making a crayon resist painting. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to have crayons, a paintbrush, paper towel, some paint, a cup of water, and some painting paper. We don't want to use normal paper because it gets all wiggly and wobbly. Oh, can you see that? It's all super wiggly down here. Because um, when you add water to normal paper, it doesn't like it. It gets all like the woggly. So we're going to be using some nice painting paper. With that said, it means you only get one sheet. So do your very best. And if you make a mistake, don't give up. Keep trying and make it work. First thing you're going to do is put your name on your paper. Art. Now don't put my name, put your name. And then it's super important that you put your class code. 4E. Now don't put 4E unless you're in class 4E. Put your class code. If you don't remember what it is, you'll see it written on the whiteboard next to the date. Now a crayon resist painting is a drawing made with crayon where a light color wash is applied over the crayons. And then watercolor is a technique of painting in which water is applied in a wash to white paper. So we've got white paper here and we're gonna need to do a drawing with some crayons to create our crayon resist. I recommend using white for hidden secret messages and then other colors to do a full drawing. Here is something I've already come up with and you can see I'm on the back. I do have my name and class code on it already. Let's go ahead and write something over here. Now, when you are doing something, you do need to press down fairly hard. You want to push down. You don't want to squeeze the crayon too hard because it is likely that you could break it. Even I break crayons sometimes. And it's okay if you accidentally do break it. That's going to happen. Mistakes happen. Please don't break crayons on purpose. Let's see, art time class. Let's put keep B. Hold on, I don't think I did the B tall enough. I can kind of move the paper a little bit. It's pretty hard to see. Can y'all see that difference right there? I've got to make that a little longer. And if you have a really hard time seeing it, you can also feel with your fingers really lightly. Keep being to find where you left off keeping so right here. <gasps> no! oh, crayon. Again, if you end up breaking crayons, it's okay. I know it happens. Um, please don't break crayons on purpose though. Uh, we will use these pieces of crayons for a custom crayon project later in the spring. So don't get rid of them. In fact, you can peel off the paper from them if you have time, that would, that would help. Just take the paper off too as well all right so keep being and then i had a c happening right here here it is create a tip exclamation point oh a little bit of other color on it okay all right so let's go ahead and add some watercolor to this um when we're doing this, the key is water and color. And when I say watercolor, I mean a little bit of water and a little bit of color is what's really gonna make this effect happen. So I'm gonna get my paintbrush wet and I'm gonna come over here to the paint. And I'm going to lightly brush it, very lightly, like I'm petting a cat. And as you can see on my paintbrush, I've got paint right here on the bristles and there is no paint on this plastic piece. This is called the Fruler. There should be no paint here. If I come around and I see paint right here, that means you're pressing down. You don't wanna press down. For one, it bends the bristles to the side and you get paint on this plastic part. You don't want paint on the plastic part. It's not gonna um, help your painting. So again, I get a little dot of water and I lightly pet the paint. Then I'm gonna come back over here with an extra dot of water and I'm gonna start doing a little bit. Ooh, I'm loving the way that looks. So again, 
a little dot of water. Little dot. Okay. Light, 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 light. I'm not pressing down hard. Light, 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 light. And then one more dot of water coming back. There we go. Did you see right there? It needed a little bit more movement. A little dot of water. Light, 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 light. And there's my secret message is starting to show. Now everyone will have at least one color. Some of us will have more than one color. It just depends on your class. And if there were a lot of people drawing on themselves during our pastel unit, I had a few classes where no one was drawing on themselves and they were being extra responsible with the materials and extra responsible at the sink when they were washing their hands. Those classes might have more than one color. You can blend and mix the colors on your paper. And since I'm using just a tiny bit of paint, I can use the same paintbrush. If I was pressing down and getting paint on here, I would need to use a different paintbrush. But with this watercolor technique to create the crayon resist, we're using such a light touch, a light, a little bit of paint, a little bit of water. It really helps it shine through and we won't even need to clean up after. So there's one. And I like, um, I could do this and I could do some more and then paint a little bit more if I have time. Let's go ahead and check out this painting. So here I have what will look like a night sky. And um, I can go right over. You'll see I'm going right on top of the tree. I can go right on top. I can even paint over the ground. Since I'm doing it so lightly, it, it beats. See how it's beating up right there? And I can just push that back onto the sky so it absorbs on the paper. Isn't that cool? You go right over your painting. And again, just a little dot of water, light, 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 light. I should not see a big, like don't pour water in here. That's don't do that. That's a no, no. Um, light, light, light. And here I have a little smoke from the chimney that I had hidden in there with white. Let's take a close, uh, let's, let's see a replay of all that. Like continue. Go right over your painting. And again, just a little dot of water, light, 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 light. <sighs> Very cool. All right. Just keep going a little bit of dot of water. I'm going to add in a little bit of this color here. A little bit more blue. I almost have too much water on the blue here. You can kind of see it. It's dripping over. Almost have too much water on the blue. And again, I can mix the color on my paper really lightly because I'm going really light with the water and the paint. And there's see, yeah, there's no paint right here. I'm not leaving leftover paint in either cup. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is looking so cool. Let's take a close look at it. Here. Kind of blend those together. Now I'm almost pushing too hard. I want to go lighter. There we go. Little dots of water. Makes that color even lighter. I'm going right on top of the moon, covering it right up. And what's really cool about watercolors, you can layer the colors. If you're doing a little bit of water and a little bit of paint, the layers will dry quick enough that you can go over it with another color. replay that let's look at it i'm going right on top of the moon 
covering it. I love that. Go right over the moon. Looks so good. So I have some student examples I'd love to show you guys. Um, and I can continue painting down here. I can just cover all that up. You see how the water beads down there? So it's beading. So I can just push that around. And it helps fill in all those little white spaces left behind by the crayon. And you can do any kind of drawing you want. You can do just a secret message. You can do an actual drawing like this. It's really up to you. So some of uh, the drawings I want to show you from class. Um, here's an example that they added just the right amount right here. And then they had too much paint, not enough water going over this cloud here. And then over here, they had just the right amount. And then the student, I feel like they missed out on covering their border. They had the border with crayon here. And see how it comes over right there? I wish they had done that all over. Here's another great example where they had a few areas that just turned out really, really great. Um, and then you can see right here, they went over, 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 and they were pressing down with their paintbrush with a lot of water and it started um, beating the paper. Like this is water beating where the water beats up and you can just move it around. But when you press down, the paper kind of gets rough. Then here's another really cool example. They did it uh, like an amazing, like perfect job right here. Like this looks just like mine right there. Um, and then over here, they added a bit too much paint. They needed to go lighter on the paint, and use just a bit of water and blend that around. So some really cool examples. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys create in the art room. <laughs> Till next time, keep being creative.